story and your mission. Okay. Thanks. Uh, well, first of all, I want to give another round of applause for Brendan Mangum for doing a great job. Lisa, who's been like kind of babysitting me all day, <laughs> so many tours, uh, and also I, I, I don't know uh, this teacher's name, uh, but she rose to the challenge, uh, she put that together like we were freaking out, because uh, nothing was working, and then she came to our rescue, and uh, thank you very much. And, uh, I guess most of you heard this is our last stop uh, in Ontario and, uh, and you know Brendan had the uh, opportunity to, carry, to be the last person to carry it in Ontario and now we're moving on to Winnipeg and, and westward. Uh, we're going to be wrapping up uh, June 20th in uh, none of it. Does anybody know where none of it is? The country? So, we're going in June, so I think we'll be okay. And uh, so what we're, hope, what we're hoping as a result of doing all of this is we believe very strongly that we're planting the seeds in the right places about this issue. And that, that's why we decided to do a, a, a student-based uh, project. And this is very youth-oriented. Uh, we also have a Facebook group, uh, it's called Step by Step SOS 4000, and all the pictures and all the movie files and everything's going to go on that group. Uh, so anybody that's a member, we're encouraging you to uh, come and become a member of that group and uh, you can keep up to date with all our activities. And uh, the best way I know how to really end this is something that I heard from uh, a young 14-year-old boy, his name was Christopher, who carried that torch across Canada uh, three years ago. And he kept, when, he's, when he, they said, Chris, do you have something to say? He would come up here on the mic and he would say, he'd make it really simple. He'd say, please don't take your organs to heaven. Heaven knows we need them here on earth. So thank you very much. And I'll pass the mic back to you. Canada? I wasn't counting, but uh, 769 days. It was a 12,000 kilometer route. I took the long way. I, I, I couldn't follow the signs right, so I kept going across. <laughs> so picture yourself walking from one end of the country to the other, devo devoting 765 days, nine, nine days of your life, <laughs> um, walking across Canada. And I can imagine that wasn't easy. Yeah, sometimes I have my days. You know, when you do, when you intend on doing a project, and whatever you do in your lives, uh, you kind of try and focus in. You try and picture yourself doing it, like if you're going to become a doctor or whatever you're going to become in your life. Uh, you try and picture yourself doing that, and 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 then somehow, it, you know. You, you'll get there. You know, if you if you really believe in doing it, uh, you'll get there. Uh, it might not be on the time that you want, but you'll get there. So uh, that's how I did it. What made you uh, decide to do do what you do, and what keeps you going? Well, besides being insane. <laughs> Pretty much. I I guess um, I. I was witness to too many people that were dying, uh, like waiting for these organs, and they were really, they were like people like in this room, uh, mothers, fathers, you know, and, and I seen what the families were going through, hoping that an organ was going to arrive, and, and just to know that this message wasn't getting out there enough, and that's really as simple as it is, like if we can somehow find a way to get this message to every Canadian, we can solve this problem. Nobody has to die. Uh, so I guess it's that, you know, knowing that we can change this is, was, is what keeps me going. And it's a 
as simple as signing your organ donor card on your driver's license, That's right? The first step. First step. Second step? Is if, you, if you can find a time to share this wish with your family, that's really the most important step. Okay, do you have any questions for George? All right, well I thank you for being very supportive outside the school. It was kind of emotional, I don't know how you felt, a little nervous and anxious at the same time. Um, your support means a lot to us. and. At this time, I guess you can go back to our regular scheduled class. Whoa.